All right, everybody, welcome to Fantasy Football Today. We're here to talk about news that we hate talking about, a serious injury, potentially a season-ending injury, to Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins. By the time you watch this, maybe there's confirmation, but the initial uh, fear is that it is a torn Achilles. In fact, there was a report that it is a torn Achilles. We'll probably have confirmation on it tomorrow on Monday from the Minnesota Vikings, but it's going to be a long absence, most likely, perhaps, probably, the season is over for for Kirk Cousins. So, I'm Adam Azer with Heath Cummings here. We're going to talk about what this means for the rest of the Minnesota Vikings. Cousins has been an obvious fantasy success story this year. He's having a terrific season. Uh, let's start with let's start with Justin Jefferson, who's still on IR. Heath, what do you think? What does this mean for him? Yeah, I mean, I think I thought the concerns about him sitting out the rest of the year because the Vikings weren't any good were, were pretty overblown. I do worry that he's out an extra week or two longer now, though. I do worry that there's not as much of a motivation for him to get back. And so it's I think it's still the same situation. If he comes back, I still expect he's going to be a very good fantasy starter. When he comes back, I still expect he's going to be a very good fantasy starter. I don't think you would expect him to be the number one wide receiver in fantasy anymore. Yeah, so w- let's talk about let's talk about some other wide receivers who lost their quarterback, right? High-end wide receivers who lost their quarterback. And you can look at Garrett Wilson, right? Garrett Wilson, after this game, he just had a 100-yard game against the Giants. He's on pace for 95 catches, 1,139 yards, and five touchdowns on 165 targets. That's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Uh, Amari Cooper had a nice game today. He's been pretty terrible without Deshaun Watson. I don't know if that's really the same thing. I think you could look at Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams Mm -hmm. in 2017 when Aaron Rodgers was lost for the season. Adams was was good. He he wasn't amazing, but he was 98. His pace in eight games without Aaron Rodgers was 98 catches, 1,160 yards, and 11 touchdowns on 144 targets. It's really good. I mean, it's not what Adams is capable of, especially the yardage, but I'm I'm coming up. I'm trying to come up with a rule, Heath, okay? What's the rule? It's a two-round rule. I don't know exactly what the criteria is, but a guy, a a really good wide receiver loses his starting quarterback. I'm going to knock him two rounds. Justin Jefferson was a first-round pick. He's going to play like a third-round pick. Garrett Wilson was a second round pick. He's going to be like a fourth round pick. It's kind of a, I don't know. That's a two round rule. Heath. I think, yeah, I think it's, it's almost interesting. Like who's better rest of the season, Garrett Wilson or Justin Jefferson. Um, once Jefferson's back, I would expect him to be, but Wilson's going to get a few weeks head start on him. So yeah, I, I think third round is fine. If we're talking early third, I think he's like, we had that trio and they haven't quite lived up to it yet, but of Jalen Waddle, Devonte Smith, and T Higgins, who were all right there, and we're all at the two three turn. I think that's probably the, the range that I see Jefferson in once once he's back. Now, here's the problem, right? Not every backup quarterback is is created equal, right? And I think it was Brett Hundley for the Packers. We weren't expecting much from him, but Adams was still good. The Vikings backup quarterback situation looks pretty bad right now, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I. I think it is. I'm not sure. Like, I don't think it's as bad as Tommy DeVito. Um, well, well, that's a third string quarterback. Right. But, but yes. Uh, but but, it, but it's, it's probably going to be bad. I mean, rookie quarterbacks are generally bad. And this wasn't an elite rookie quarterback prospect by any stretch of the imagination. It was, fun fact, Puka Nakua's quarterback. And so, <laughs> like, who knows? This guy might just come out. I think he, what, he fumbled his f- first or second play on the first drive for sure in, the, in this game. Um, yeah. it's, it's probably not going to be good. Well, it might not even be him. It might not be Jaron Hall. I think they even said they had, they're not committing to him going forward. Nick so, on IR, is that correct? That's what our producer, Thomas Schaefer, has informed us. That is true, yes. Uh, so they could maybe look at the free agent wire. I, I, I don't even know. You could always say Carson Wentz or something like that. But they're 4-4. Four and four. They're back in the mix. Let's hope they, they do something to upgrade a quarterback. What about Jordan Addison? What about TJ Hawkinson? I'm going to view Hawkinson as a low-end starter. Um, probably in that, like, man, I, I I'll flat out say it now. Tight end is deep. So he might, <laughs> he might fall to the 10 to 15 range at tight end. Definitely not a top five tight end anymore. Um, but someone you are still starting. I think it's with Addison and Hawkinson, probably both for me next week, I'm still starting them. 
I'm going to plan on continuing to start Edison because he, he's been pretty fantastic. And I do think he's a special player. So I'm going to plan on starting him until Jefferson's back for sure. Yeah, once Jefferson's back, though, I I don't we'll know. We'll see what the quarterback play looks like at that point. Like, if they've got somebody that's throwing for 250 yards a game, then it might be okay. Uh, let's talk about from a dynasty standpoint here. What does this mean for Kirk Cousins? He's 35 years old with likely a torn Achilles. Your thoughts? You're the dynasty guy. What do you think? Yeah, well, and this is a reason why, like, sometimes when you look at our dynasty rankings and it seems kind of silly that a Sam Howell's ranked ahead of a Kirk Cousins, it's because an, one injury like this to a Kirk Cousins could be the end from a dynasty perspective. Um, I, I think you can you can look at him as a number three quarterback right now. And he's got a lot to prove when he gets back. What team is he going to be on? What system is he going to be in? Um, th there's there's a lot of questions to be answered about Kirk Cousins moving forward. And it's kind of interesting because he could come back and and maybe he can come back and be good, right? I mean, right. Achilles injuries aren't aren't exactly what they used to be in terms of career enders, right? Uh, maybe he come, maybe the the Vikings can get him back on on a discount, and maybe this is good for Justin Jefferson's dynasty value. You know what we had before the season started. I was pretty firm in the Jamar Chase should be the number one player in Dynasty, non-super flex, because he's tied to Joe Burrow. Don't know what the future holds for Jefferson at quarterback. Right. Is that is that an angle here? Because this maybe increase the chances of Cousins coming back to Minnesota? I don't know about that because I don't know how the market's going to value him or if his recovery, like I'm not sure if he's going to be pursuing any dolphin treatment like Aaron Rodgers is or if he's going to go more traditional methods. Um, so, so like how long it takes him to get back and how, but yeah, I think there's a possibility that this makes it, the, the Vikings are obviously the team that knows him. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for, uh, this bonus edition of fantasy football today. Tough news, hoping for the best for Kirk cousins and the Minnesota Vikings. And thanks a lot for watching everybody.